Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mike, and here's another from my garage tip. This is a 2018 Ford Escape. It's my wife's. And uh, it came up with code P0456, which is a small EVAP leak. Uh, took it to the dealership because it's under 100,000 miles and less than seven years old. Thought it'd be covered under the powertrain warranty, and they said no. Uh, they did, however, troubleshoot it down to the purge valve. Now, this is a quick video on how I did it. And I did it, I'm filming this after I did everything, so excuse me. But, this is a kit I bought from Rock Auto. And there's your part number from Standard, and it's made in the USA. So, Standard, giving you love, guys. I'm all about American manufacturing. So in order to replace that solenoid, the purge solenoid right here, you have to replace all the hoses that are connected to it. And you've seen any of the YouTube videos that mention any of the Fords from this generation. They all have a different configuration. So this is why I'm bringing this up. This is an escape. Okay, so you're gonna replace it that hose that I've got the flashlight on right here and that is a quick line that just goes beep, 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 to there so that was nothing fancy these are all spring-loaded quick disconnects and you will have trouble getting these out I assure you the second one is right behind it I don't know if you can see where I'm pointing the flashlight right there but there's one that's shooting off to the right and if you follow that one it goes to this elbow right here, which is part of the whole assembly. You have another one down here on the front of the engine block. That was a pain to get out. And you have one way, I am trying like crazy to get a good picture of this. I don't know if you can see this, but I assure you it's back there. <laughs> uh, this is way underneath the cowl behind the power steering reservoir. So after you disconnect all three of those, uh, rather all four of those, if you're gonna do that one tube going to the top of the uh, valve uh, cover, um, and then just reconnect them with quick disconnects, should be a done deal after you unplug the power and then transfer over the mounting bracket from one to the other, the old one to the new one. Now what's nice about this one from uh, Standard Manufacturing is that it has quick disconnects at the front and back of the solenoid. So if I ever have to do this again, I don't have to replace the whole hose assembly like Ford made me do. It's just going to be two quick disconnects, one on either side of the solenoid, unplug the solenoid, swap it out and plug it back in. Anyway, this was just a quick video, just to kind of share the knowledge, which is what I'm all about. So if anybody's got any questions or comments, please put them below. I would be happy to talk to you. Thanks.